Welcome back to The Late Debate. I'm James McPherson with Liz Storer and Caleb Bond. Well, just a few weeks ago, the Treasurer, Jim Chalmers, announced that uh, King Charles would not feature on the $5 note. With the death of Queen Elizabeth, she would be replaced not by the King, but rather by an Indigenous piece of artwork, or a tribute at least, to Indigenous culture. The Treasurer said that this was a decision of the RBA in consultation with the government. Well, liar, liar, pants on fire. A Freedom of Information uh, request has shown that the RBA contacted the Treasurer saying, look, we've got a decision to make, but any decision, Liz, to not feature King Charles, that's a, a significant decision and one that we ought not make. Balls so in your court, here Treasurer. are your options. What would you like? Balls and it turns out the court. Treasurer said we'd actually like the Indigenous artwork rather than the King. It wasn't really an RBA decision. Jim Chalmers made the decision. Yeah, and that's why it's so great that he's been called out now. We said at the time, here he was congratulating the RBA on this great decision, and the RBA were like, oh, it was made in console... We consulted with you guys. And I think even then it was tongue-in-cheek, like, dude, stop congratulating us. You made this decision. But I, I, think, it's, I think it's pretty interesting what they've done here. Again, it's, it's because... We know that we have Indigenous people on several notes already, mm -hmm. OK? But we only have one monarch. So this is enormously significant. We've never not had our monarch on one of our notes, coins, etc., and so on. This is a massive step that, once again, this is our government. They are anti-Commonwealth. They are anti-our our constitutional monarchy. They want to undo... What I think, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This has been a brilliant system. We've benefited mm. off greatly, as you said, Caleb. Mm. doesn't even cost us any money. And I think that what the Australian people need to understand is this is your government and they are pushing for what I see as more power because if you get rid of our constitutional monarchy, you are getting rid of one of the checks and balances yep. that we enjoy um, and is very rarely employed, as we know throughout history. Why would you want to give politicians, especially the flogs <laughs> that we've got, why would you want to give them more well, I, power? I know why politicians want to give politicians yeah, I, more I, I, power. There's no doubt and there. If, I suppose if you want to make a uh, republic an inevitability, as Hugh Jackman tells us, you know, we'll just sort of erase them from existence in all places. The thing I'm most upset about here, though, is that I'm actually starting to feel sorry for the RBA. Caleb. That's not something I want to be feeling right no. now. After everything the RBA has done in terms of monetary policy, we find out that, lo and behold, perhaps the uh, Coalition was right last week when they were talking about the independence <laughs> of the RBA and government interference. But the real question is, if Chalmers made this decision, and he knew he made this decision, why did he not want to own it? Here's a little clip from Jimmy back. Chalmers when he announced that the $5 note would be changed. Have a look at what he said. Well, it's, uh, it's an important opportunity. Uh, to recognise on the $5 note uh, more of our uh, Indigenous heritage and history and culture going back tens of thousands of years. Uh, and, you know, it's no secret that I would like to see Australia become a republic. Now it's really <laughs> no, no secret. secret. <laughs> no secret. No secret at all.